Welcome back to the Ari Lang Show. My next guest, uh, real funny guy. Got a lot of great stuff going on. He's going to be at Caroline's this upcoming Thursday through Sunday. He's about to start a tour with the great Dave Chappelle, which is uh, big news in the comedy world. Please welcome Hannibal Burris to the show. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Cool. Uh, so uh, you, you're going to tour yeah. with Chappelle. Yeah, man. Now, how did this come up? This just came up. Uh, Live Nation put us together, and it's, it's a bunch of people on the tour. Uh, Flight of the Concords. Flight of the Concords. Yeah. Uh, Chris D'Elia, Kristen Shaw, Al Madrigal, a few other people, John wow. Mulaney. We had Al in here. We had Madrigal in here as well. Yeah. And they... Uh, they were saying that's how that's really why I wanted to do it because they were saying yeah we might be getting Chappelle if right. I'm doing shows with Chappelle that's the, that's fun cause that's yeah, it's, it's gonna just, be a blast yeah just to be able to watch him and, and, and learn and and also just you know I'm excited about it. Yeah, I mean, uh, so obviously Dave will headline is yeah. the kind of thing where you, you do like 20 minutes yeah, half just an hour 15 right? 20 minutes yeah and, yeah. I've done stuff like that, I'll tell you, as a comic. I mean, you're a comic, you tour, so you do an hour, you know? Right. But, but uh, I do that mostly. But I've been doing this antisocial tour with David Tell and Jimmy Norton, and it, uh, sometimes it varies with other people. We do four guys. Yeah. The 20-minute thing, man, if you're used to an hour, it's like retired work. <laughs> yeah. And then you get to watch Chappelle at the end. You yeah, know? you get to watch. The thing that, uh, you know, when I'm opening for somebody, now uh, I'll get drunk. <laughs> Cause if I'm doing my set, I use, I won't drink before my headline. I might have one drink, but if I'm for 20 minutes and then I'm watching somebody for an hour and a half, I get so faded. Party man. it up, As an man. opener, you oh. get you got time to get faded. You're preaching to the choir there, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. I mean, why not enjoy 20 yeah. minutes? You could do. I mean, you know. I mean, I, I'll brag for you. You know, you're probably good enough. You can do that in a coma. Yeah. And then, so why not really get in a coma? Yeah, for just, a shit, yeah you, I mean, I'm talking about watch. Yeah, because then I just watch it as a fan. I go in the crowd, and you just get to watch Dave Chappelle. Like, last night, did shows, and just and then did my set, and then went and watched him. It was just really it was fun to watch. Man. So it's his fun new stuff him, like, is good, I hear, New right? stuff is I on point. I can't wait to hear it, yeah. New stuff is on point, and it's just, it was, it's awesome, yeah. Now, did you know Chappelle before this? I didn't know him. So I didn't he kind of picked you? Yeah. Uh, no, or I think, Live Nation. Yeah, Live Nation. Right. But I think he, you know, probably has some input on the lineup. But I, I never, I'm sure. I, it's been times where I've had to follow him. I didn't know him uh, oh. at, the, at the cellar. He had dropped He just in shows up. On yeah. a Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, was a, he did an hour or something. And oh, that's had, fun. And then I had to go up <laughs> right after. Oh, that, that's, yeah. a, that's a rough spot. I've been in that position before. But, uh, yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't. I met him uh, a few months ago, and he's a cool dude, man. That's the best thing for your chops, though, is, is like, um... Following somebody. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of guys are scared. Like, nah, what the hell? You gotta do it. Well, you gotta do it anyway. Yeah. And, it's, and it's good and it's good work, because if you can do all right following somebody like that, then when you're doing your own thing, when people come to see you, it's... You way, get better. It's yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah, John, I'm sorry. So you've gotten to know him a little bit. I, I'm curious about the whole, the disappearance. Well, he doesn't know about that. He doesn't know him that well, clearly. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, I heard that it was, it was due to World of Warcraft. Had you ever heard that? <laughs> like, I, he was playing WoW too. all the time, and he got so deeply I engrossed. That, I doubt that. Really? Yeah. Well, I, dude, the game is great. <laughs> no, I doubt I've heard of the, somebody was telling me about Water, World of Warcraft Widows. What is that, like a, a video game? It's, it's a, a video game. Yeah. Massive it's really multiplayer engrossing. online really role-playing game. And I guess sometimes people just go all the way into it, and they dedicate their lives to that and then there yeah. is uh is online forums for their girlfriends and wives cuz they cuz they they, oh, yeah, they, really? they they yeah. connect wow because widows. They're, yeah they're wild widows because they yeah. uh they don't talk to their wives so anymore. Amazing. I don't, I don't think he yeah. gave up the 50 million. But I don't think that's what it is. I don't think that's <laughs> I what think it is. I heard that's what it is. But, of course, I don't I don't know. Well, uh, so now uh, talk about the, you were writer for SNL. Yeah. Was that your first kind of break? That was my first gig, man. I've been doing stand-up for, it was, I started in 02. So, yeah, seven years I've been doing stand-up. And I just started kind of working the road in a, in, in a low-level way while I was working, making a, able to pay the rent. But it was, it was you know, Middle act stuff and and low level headline gigs. And, and someone that, saw you from the SNL world and thought your material was great and uh, thought you'd be a good yeah, writer. Yeah, I did a set on on late night with Jimmy Fallon. Somebody got sick the the day before and they hit me up because I right. submitted a and they said you want to come in tomorrow and do the set. I did the set, just hoping it would boost my road work. And then they I, I set up a meeting with uh, SNL with Seth Meyers wow. to meet, and then they offered me the job. Are you currently working there? No, I'm oh, not yeah, currently you, working How there. long were you there for? 
This is one season. Was that a fun experience? People have all different stories. It was stories. mixed, man. It yeah. was mixed because it was just it, it was a struggle to get stuff on the show and and trying to figure out because you with with SNL you got to figure out. You know, you know your comedic voice, right. and then there's the voice of the show. It's hard. And then figuring out where those meet. Yeah. And that's where you get stuff on. And so I was coming from just a stand-up, being a stand-up and, and no sketch writing background. And writing really. for you. You know, it's, it's yeah. like a stand-up, you know, like I did Mad TV for a couple of years, and okay. I, I, you know, I would try to write sketches, but I could only write for me. And that was not of any selfish thing. I just wasn't good yeah. at writing for other people. Some people know other people's voices. So you'd be... You know, writing for other people. I'm a, yeah. As a stand-up, that's hard to do. And then also is you have to set appointments with people because it's so many, <laughs> it's so many cast members, so many writers. Yeah. And then on a writing day, you say you try to get people. Hey, Kristen, wait, you want to write? Can you write at two o'clock? Oh no, I'm writing in. Can you make me can write at eight? Or well, Fred, it you seems write? formal for comedy, right? I like, mean, it, yeah. but you have to just to you have to set the time to yeah, write because yeah. it's easier to write with the cast member than to write for a cast member. Especially if they do a character. Like, yeah, you, either you know a character they do, you right. get that in mind, and then you know. You yeah. Know. So so, but it was it was so it was a struggle. In a sense, but also it was a job. It was my first job. It was my first time. What a gig! Though, yeah, man. making some decent money. It was <laughs> first time kind of seeing, being you know, going to those parties and meeting meeting a lot of people. So it kind of put me into the business. So I, I appreciate it. But it was it was tough at times. But it was also great. At some parties times. are great. Yeah, yeah parties are great. I've been to a few of those. Uh, and then you work also uh, a friend of ours, uh, W. Kamal Bell. I'm yeah. totally biased. Did a couple of those. Yeah, I did a couple of segments on his show. His show is great. And he's he's doing good work over there. And sometimes they just hit me up. You want to do a segment? And I just <laughs> do a segment, and and it's and it's cool, man. And now he's moving to daily, which is this is oh, a really he is. big jump. Yeah, yeah he's because it was just every it was on Thursdays, and now it's going to five five nights That's a, a lot week, more. Yeah. Awesome. That's a lot more work. You know, yeah. John is an ex NFL guy, and I took him to the cellar a couple of times to try yeah. to get him into the comedy world. And I'll say, could you? No you've one seen, wants me you've in. Seen, You've seen that scene. There. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine being a comic? Chappelle, no. Chappelle stops by, does an hour, and then you go. <laughs> I can't. You know what? It's hard it, to do, right? It is a tight knit group, but there's <laughs> there's com there's just competition within. This is something that I never considered in my life before I met Art. What do you mean? Yeah. The whole the whole subculture of comedy of stand up. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it's a tight tight ring. And they don't want to let anybody in. Well, no. Hannibal represents the younger guys. I become one of the old bastards over there. Oh. We sit at the table. Well, they don't want to let me in. No, I guess. Well, you're fine. No, well, as it's long just, as you don't eat all the meatloaf. It's t I know. I, I but what do you think about they that? They don't want do me to you, sit at their table. Do you find it's too clicky sometimes, comedy? No, I mean it depends. And I, I guess it, it's everybody has their different viewpoints. I don't have a, a click. I just kind of. If somebody's funny, because I run a show, I run a weekly show every Sunday. Right. I host a show. That's where I try new material. So I book people. So I look for people that are that are good and and they're not if they're not bad, <laughs> if they're not awful people. Yeah, right, right. So I book people. So I have to always. I'm always looking for for new people to put on. So I'm not I'm not clicky. That's that a way. hard combination. It's... A guy funny on stage is not an a hole, <laughs> or a guy who's horrendous on stage is a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is because that's what uh, that's the thing uh, that. Comedians are do like, yeah, you know him, <laughs> yeah. It, you won't talk about his company. Like, he's a good guy. He's though. a good guy, right? Yeah, horrible comedian. <laughs> Great guy. I